Sir, have you heard the market is crashing, but Datsama keeps building? Some new faces on the boards. Pokedex, a DEX parachain with order books, high frequency, and bot trading, has launched its bid for a slot on Polkadot, rocketing into the ninth position. After a week off, these crowd loans resumed last night with Centrifuge absolutely balking for that eighth auction win. On Kusama, still waiting for that candle to go out at the end of day tomorrow, but Crab holding a dominant lead so far, but Sora hopping into the ring yesterday, threatening to make Make it a bit of a competition. We also had Latentry, after maybe a disappointing run on Polkadot, making the decision to start with a chain on Kusama. What I like about this scheme is that they will be sharing the same token with their Polkadot model, and their five products ready to launch will be available much sooner. These include the uh, Polkadot naming system, an NFT identity system that displays verified NFT ownership on Twitter, privacy-preserving ad and analytics services, and Drop3, which is a product that allows new projects to reward users for testing what they've built. You can try it out yourself by completing tasks to earn lit on Litentry's own Discord linked below. Genshiro has released their crowd loan rewards. You can check them out on the Genshiro app, and although the bridge to BSC is a little gummed up at the moment, you can still earn with your gen or use them as collateral. A new proposal on the edge where Commonwealth is looking to fund development of the Kabocha visual identity and these beauties, Kabocha seeds, which will be handed out to EDG holders and contributors to the upcoming Kabocha crowd loan. They are a riff on Canaria egg hatching, and what grows from them will have use cases on the future chain. And if you haven't clued into what Kabocha is yet, you need to watch this interview with Monsieur Bulb from earlier in the week, one of the best received interviews on the show we've had so far. In Varch, which we covered earlier this week on the radar, is giving away a banner if you register your address on their Discord linked below. This is not the banner, it hasn't yet been revealed, but I can tell you that it was designed by none other than Moonbearer, friend of the show, co-host of Space Monkeys, and the designer of the Chaos Dao Apes. And Mangata is out with part one of four in their Mangata Playbook series. I love the long-term vision of this project, revealing that their end goal is a chain optimized for capital efficiency, the way to get there is fairness, and the key to success is collaboration. It's a great read, and you can take a look in the description below. Now, dear viewer, I want to ask you a question. When you wake up in the morning and turn on your phone, what's the first thing you check? Subsocial. And now, next to the feed, the team has added a new stream for Datsama specific content. And if you scroll to the most recent spaces added to this stream, you can see some of the top contributors from WAG Media. A couple of them also getting recognition from that composable content contest we spoke about a fortnight ago. Zero X Crane taking home a shared first place in the infographic category, and Alpha X also with a joint gold in the composable explained category. Oh, and she's already come out with a sequel. Unreal read to make sure you have your head on straight for what's coming over the next couple months. Akala in their crowd cast last night explaining that little plus sign on their EVM launching soon on Karua. Their EVM adapter, as they call it, will allow fees to be paid in any token, will have automatic schedule functionality, and new functionalities can be added to the EVM stack as requested. They did confirm the integration of that AquaDAO, though not many details became clearer than what we had yesterday, and in response to the role Karua will play going into the future, you got to think about the two this way, right? Uh, they are not separate. So they are almost like they cannot live without each other, basically. So um, uh, for all the tech, it's proven on Karura. Without Karura, Akala is not going to do all the stuff that I mentioned. So Karura is the technical intrinsic value for Akala. However, when you see the DAO and then the treasury, Akala's got two million. Akala is the economic intrinsic value supporting Karura. Because of the technical importance, basically a strategic importance of Karura, Akala is gonna economy, it's gonna continue bring 
uh, Korea up. So, for example, uh, practically uh, some of the treasury uh, part of it uh, will be used uh, to put into uh, Karura Treasury to support e uh, economic growth there. Um, and the two you can think about is one is the smaller boat, one is the much bigger boat. And they're all on the on the ocean, right? So the goal is we grow the ocean. So the, if the ocean level goes up, the two boat like goes up. But one is always the bigger boat, one is the smaller boat. So the bigger boat is Akala, smaller boat is Karura. And one is proving, supporting the other with technical, uh, capability that's Karura and and another is like Karura supporting Karura economically so uh, if the two goes into positive cycle then you can see we're doing really well and you can't lift one without the other that polka dot pioneers proposal I teased last night is quite an interesting read for the first 15 of the 18 million dollar prize pool they single out ZK proofs as the main area in need of creative and directed action quite a fascinating focus. The second for 3 million alternative implements of nodes to bolster the network and provide more options for developers. The proposal is a major push to better utilize the absolute monstrous treasuries built up on the Polkadot and Kusama chains. Finally, the partnership between Composable and Hydra DX on the Angular Finance lending product has been mutually ended, with Composable taking on full charge of its development but sir, we'll take a closer look at that on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody.